travelling to a game here at Anfield or maybe following the Reds away from home. There's a good chance you'll be connecting to public Wi-Fi somewhere along the way. But did you know that the free Wi-Fi is the Akers' favourite pitch? So instead of chasing a ball, they're ready to steal your sensitive information. OK, now, so wh where are you saying you want to build the... Um, so you've got two in free... You're going to have two in Freetown. Where's the next one going to be? We're going to have more than two in Freetown. Okay. So the, the first one now is at Juba in Freetown. Yep. Um, and then there's this second one that we're going to start tomorrow is going to be at Wilberforce, a very high ground. The level is like on top. When you're there, you can see like the Freetown itself. And um, you said Connor, you want to... Yeah, is another is a, is a target for us because we want to take five by in there. So now where's Kono here? Kono is at the east of the country. I see Sefadu, Waradu. Yeah, well, Sefadu is part of Kono. Okay, so here, you want to take it out yeah. to here. Now, why here? Exactly. What's so special about here? Um, there's a lot of business there, and this place is the diamond land of Sierra Leone. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of business there that needs internet a very good one and there is no fiber for them there so we want to take it there for them okay so then do you they use mobile internet yeah, exactly or or still using the satellite stuff that is what they have there okay so yeah. how would you how would you do that by building along the roadway from your well, 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 we because at the moment the the country fiber stopped at swafe Okay, now where, is, where is Swafe? Swafe is towards Kono. Okay, I can't it's see it. It's like the Kono district, but it's not like in Sefadu. Okay. I don't see it on the map. Yeah, it's not a very good map I've chosen. Never mind. Yeah, exactly. You cannot <laughs> see it on the map. So, okay. so it's at Swafe. So there's a, a bridge that Andrew wants to do, taking it from Swafe, and then we use the air fiber to send it to the main town Kono. That is like in Sefadu. This is how we want to work it. But this area is very mountainous. There are a lot of mountains there. Right. Yeah. But Andreas, we have already walked to plot where we're supposed to put towers, and then we can relay it into the Kono itself, that in Sefadu. So this is already planned. We have already, everything is ready. It's just for us to expand there now we are waiting for. Okay. So and what's the conquer free town a bit? And what's the timeline for getting to Sefadu? Well, all I can say for this is very soon. Okay. This is very, uh, the project is everything very soon. <laughs> yes. We are planning everything very soon. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's an equivalent term like that in Pakistan or India. <laughs> yeah. Soon well, come. Very, like, like now, what happened to why the project is a bit slow in Freetown is the coronavirus. It's really pushed us back. You okay. Know, even traveling. It's very, very difficult. Okay, how, how has it done that? Because you told me before we started recording, there's no lockdown in Sierra Leone. Yes. So how has the coronavirus affected your operations? Yeah, but, like most of us, we are living in Europe, you know? Right. And traveling from Europe to come here is difficult. Even getting equipment, you know? Even this equipment I, I bought, uh, that we bought and then I shipped to Sierra Leone. For us to receive it, it was like tussle. You know, they send it and DHL normally is three days. For Andreas to receive this, it's like two weeks for him wow. to receive it. And I, I have to go back and forth to Switzerland to pick them up. At the end, I was unable. I have to pick up few to France and then Andreas has to drive. You can see the video I sent. Andreas has to load his vehicle with the rest to bring it in order for us to ship it. So just with this one, it was a tussle. And we have to spend a lot of money because I have to go there like twice and come back. And then even the container, I have to change the date for loading. And all of this is costing money. When you change date, everything is costing money. And this was due to the corona. You know, things wow. slow down for us in Europe and it slowed down there. And normally to ship a container to Sierra Leone, maximum is 20 days. And I can assure you, if I show you, this container delay for 16 days. It, it was supposed to arrive in 20 days. So 20 days plus another 16 days delay. So we only receive it like the ship only arrived here on the 12th. So this is due all to the corona in Europe. You know, things slow down. Sure. So okay, I got are, it. I got it. These are things that we are facing. Yes. But once in, in Sierra Leone, there's no lockdown. 
yes. that can all get dealt with. Okay, all right. And then uh, I understand the only thing that's happening in Sierra Leone is taking on more staff. Tell yep. me about the, how many staff you've got, what they're doing, how many you're going to be getting. Yeah, well, we came with a lot of equipment. We're going to fill this tower to serve all the area we have plotted. You can see the vehicle yesterday. The vehicle was fully loaded. Mm. And I still have some in, my, in the storage area that I have to bring. And even this morning that I, I was coming to the office, I brought some more equipment. They are here. So we want to fill in this tower. And then we come of customers' equipment also, you know, so we're able to do for the second tower. And then there is also more equipment for another tower that we are planning. The third, the third tower. tower. Yeah, the third tower. Because we want to cover free town as soon as possible and concentrate on, on the other side. So this is what we are working on. So you can see even in the office storage, we have two storage filled up now with equipment. Okay. And then yeah. uh, about the staffing, is it just you? I mean, I know you were talking to somebody else earlier on. Right. How many people are working with Cajutel in Sierra Leone? Yeah. Um, for now, we have um, myself and three staff. So it's like we are four. We have the marketer. We have um, two engineers. I'm also an engineer because I'm assisting. And then I'm planning now to get uh, the office is ready. Um, we are planning to get um, a receptionist that will be, be in the office to do um, for customers inquiry and everything like that. So another staff will be added very soon. Right, okay. And then we are planning to add another marketer because one marketer is going to be tough for him. So we're going to add another assistant marketer. Okay, that's good. So let me get this right. So there's you and two engineers, and as yep. well as all the operation stuff that you do, you're doing the IT engineering and checking the construction work and stuff like that. And the other two engineers are doing that. And then you've got a marketer who's getting who's, I don't know, contacting, hey, listen, we got high-speed Wi-Fi coming. Are you interested, yes. right, <laughs> to businesses? Yes. So this one is coming. No, yeah. for building our, the engineers are only here to configure our equipment and then install. Because we have a company that I employ. I gave them the contract to construct the tower. Right. Yes. Ah, very, very good. Yeah. I'm, learning, I'm learning, learning a lot about construction and IT. We give a, a contract to a company that is going to construct and build the tower okay all right yeah. now tell us tell us about competition the other telecommunications companies in sierra leone yeah. they must know what you're doing right and you're you are eating there's a term in english you are eating their lunch yes well the, um i believe um uh, everybody wants to have value of their money that is the first thing yeah there's a lot of company there is a lot of isps but the satisfaction is what customers are looking for you know, even yeah. if it can be cheap, cheap, but if you don't give the customer a satisfaction, I believe customer will look where they get satisfaction. Yes. And in this case, you tell we are in, we are cheap, and we have a very powerful service. So this is why I'm seeing customers coming. The competition is there, but we're going to beat them. That is for sure. I am very sure. Okay. Okay. Very good. And then um, you spoke earlier. It's not just Sierra Leone. It's like today, Freetown, tomorrow, Sierra Leone, the day, yes. af the day after, all of Africa. Now, Africa is yes. pretty big, right? So, Very big. So, so tell us about the, um, the plans for growth for after Sierra Leone. Okay. As I'm saying now, okay, you already know about Guinea-Bissau. Yeah. It's only like the delay for the licensing due to some, you know, maybe political issue or something or maybe somebody else. But I can, as I'm saying now, Guinea is almost there. Registration is done. Um, the government is setting up because they have uh, like their own license. Is they have A, B, and C. So and they all have a category. A is for like the big cities, and then B is for like um, smaller cities, and then C is for like the villages. So for Guinea now, we are registered. We are running everything, and then I can say Amadou is already in Guinea, and he has done all the survey where we're supposed to install our towers. He was there before me because when I'm coming, I came through Guinea. Amadou right. has done all the survey where we're supposed to install all our towers in Guinea. Okay. So Guinea is now like up and running, like running not the internet, but 
installation wise and getting everything done. Okay. And when yeah. when do you envisage the first tower operating in Guinea? Well, um, as soon as the license is up, I have a sample of the tower now that Andrea sent me that we're going to install like in Sierra Leone, in Guinea, Guinea Bissau, wherever we are going in Africa. Mm -hmm. You know? So as soon as um, the license is picked up, we're going to start sending equipment to Guinea and installation will start immediately. Okay, what is that? So, a month, three months, six months? Well, I want to put it to be convenient, I would say the next three months. The next three months, okay. Yes, so it will be convenient. But okay. we can do it before that. Okay. So then for the, you're going to have a Guinea operation building yep. building out the towers in Guinea. Yep. And then a Sierra Leone operation building out the towers in, in Sierra Leone. Yes. Okay. So, so that has a multiplier effect of the numbers of customers coming on. Yes. Very nice. And when? When break even? Um, break even, in fact, for Sierra Leone. Break even for Sierra Leone. As soon as this tower is installed, mm -hmm. we're going to break even. For Sierra Leone, that is for sure. Okay. Yeah, that is what we have anticipated. No. Um, then from there, something else will happen. But break even, I'm sure for this one. But still, even when we break even, you must know investment is still going on because we are still building more towers. Sure. But like break even will take place with this tower. That is our our give and take. Okay, very good. And then, yeah. do you have any any idea now? I'm going to give you a warning here. And anybody who's listening who owns Cajutel tokens, I'm warning yeah. you as well. There is no guarantee, no guarantee, okay, for, about any answer that Fode is going to give. Just to be warned, right? So any right. idea when, when the first rewards will be paid out to Cajut tokens? Um, in this case, um, I don't want to give uh, a certainty here to investors, mm -hmm. you know. This is business because the business we have to continue to invest, you know. But I will give them just to be there and patient, it will be soon. <laughs> this year? No, I cannot. This year, I don't want to say this year because okay. a long term investment we are doing. Yes. If I tell you this year, it's not guaranteed. Sure. No, no, because no, we no. need to make sure we have enough and enough that we know we have exhausted all our installation and everything, then we know what is coming in can be dividend for everybody. But I cannot give you, it can happen, you know, but I don't want to say, yes, this is here. I got because it. It's business. I don't know it. what is going to happen tomorrow. Sure. No, I got it for that. I think that's a very yeah. smart and I think honest answer. Because uh, yeah. the other thing I remember from the white paper from the ICO, Andres yeah. was really clear that this is a long-term thing. This is not like exactly. as soon as you buy the tokens, you're going to start getting passive income. No, 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 no. This is a long-term project. And we've had the delays with the licensing in Guinea-Bissau. We've yeah. had the delays caused by the coronavirus and the lockdowns. And, you know, it's challenging. But what I can see, you know, Sierra Leone, Guinea-Bissau, other countries being added slowly as, we, as you move out. Because I think um, going possible to go from um, Sierra Leone, Guinea-Bissau, outwards, southwards, north, maybe not northwards because of the desert, right? Yeah, well, um, southwards, the first plan, eastwards. Yes, for us, like, I want, we are going to dominate the ECOWAS, which is the west of Africa. Yeah. yeah. So from there, we can start moving to other parts, you know. But for now, we want to dominate the ECOWAS area. That is the, the plan. Very good. Okay. All right. Further, is there anything else you want to let me know or let the token holders know that we haven't covered? Uh, uh, repeat, please. Is there anything? Is there anything else you want to let us know that we haven't spoken about or covered that you think would be useful for the token holders? Um, well, for if it's just like um, what I want to say on this part. Um, we are working very hard. I want them to be patient. That is just an advice because I can I can see on Telegram. Some are becoming impatient, but we are working very hard. And I want to assure all of them that tomorrow is going to be okay for them. Once everything is set and everything is installed, it's going to be fine for them. And then we are working as a team to give them our best for them not to invest in vain. Okay. And the office is ready because they were asking for office. Office is ready. 
We are right. building the towers. We are buying the equipment. Customers now are in. We have customers. We have customers because most of them are asking. We have customer, live customer that are paying to us. That to right. be rest sure. These are things they should know now that we have customers. We, are, we didn't have the customer that we are expecting yet. We only have handful, but we yes. have customers. That's very good. Well, further, if you could send me some um, pictures or a short video of the office. I know you sent something a week ago before yeah. it got painted. It's now been painted and stuff and got ready. Exactly. That would be great. I can include them in the video. So, further, what about funding for the project? Because it wasn't a very large ICO. I forget how, how much it raised, right? And it's there have been delays. How well funded is the project? to continue building? Well, um, at the moment, as I'm saying, um, in this area, Andre is actually responsible because I'm having everything that we are using, cash, equipment, is coming from Andre's, you know, to pay salaries, even to install the office, to rent the office. Andre is transferring cash. Right. So everything is coming from Andre's. Transferring to bank account or at times transferring to my account in the in France, and then I would disburse this uh, money to do what we want to do. And as I'm saying now, that is why I said tomorrow we're going to start the next hour because Andreas has wired some cash to the Cartel account in Sierra Leone, which I am going to pay our contractors to start the work tomorrow. Okay. So all funding I am getting from Andreas. So okay. If Andreas will give another best answer, the, so the source of funding. But I am sure. getting everything from Andreas. Okay, now that's very good because what I get from that, you're getting the money that you need to continue building. Yeah, exactly. And you don't know, and I don't know if it's coming out of Andreas's very deep pockets himself, right? Or if he's got investment funding, or if it's still from the ICO funds. We, we don't know, right? Exactly. So, so I got it. So, you know, and I know I, Andreas is dealing with stuff right now and you know, at some point soon, no, no doubt he and I will talk again. Uh, yeah. So thank you very much for answering that. I personally appreciate these uh, regular updates to find out what's going on. And I think other Kajutel holders um, get value from these as well, because it's a great way of letting people know what's going on. Um, and I just really appreciate you taking the time out to explain and answer all my questions. For anybody who's watching, go check out Kajutel.io. Links in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, Put them in the description below. You can find me in the Telegram group. You can also find Fode and Andreas and a couple of the other team members, Anita and Sachin, also in the Telegram group. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with Crypto Profits. This is Crypto Rich and Crypto Fode signing out. All the best. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Get yourself a good quality hardware wallet. I recommend the Ellipow wallet. Discount with the link in the description below.